This Halloween, the only thing more frightening than a magical Oni is an angry Ilya. Hello everyone, Soberoni of G&A Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the version of Ilya who's bound to have some pretty interesting conversations with Miyu and Kuro, Shitonai. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively and an overall grade, comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 5 star servants. By the way, if you do enjoy these spotlights, please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps out the channel tremendously. With that said, let's take a look at Shitonai's stats. Shitonai has a max HP of 13,965 and a max attack of 11,668. Compared to the other 5 star alter egos, Shitonai has the second highest HP, but also shares the lowest attack stat in the class with Kiara. But the alter egos are a very small group. Compared to the other 5 star servants overall, Shitonai does have above average HP and just about average attack. Stat wise, Shitonai is a balanced attacker with a good amount of HP and adequate attack strength. Taking a look at her skills, Shitonai's first skill is Snow Fairy Rank EX. This applies invincibility to herself for one turn, and it also applies damage cut to all of her allies for three hits or three turns, reducing damage between 300 and 500 depending on level. Her next skill is Emotional Freezing Rank B. It increases her arch card effectiveness for three turns between 20 and 30% depending on level, and applies Nullified Debuff for one time lasting three turns. And finally, her last skill is Kamui Yukar Rank A. It has between a 60 to 80% chance to increase her attack by 20% for 3 turns, and also generate 10 crit stars per turn for 3 turns, and the skill also increases her NP gauge between 20 and 30%, all depending on level. For her passives, Shitonai has Magic Resistance Rank C, which increases her debuff resist by 15%, Territory Creation Rank A, which increases her Arch Card Effectiveness by 10%, Item Construction B, which increases her debuff success rate by 8%, and Core of the Goddess Rank B, which applies damage plus 225 and also increases debuff resist by 22.5%. Moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, Shitonai has an Arts Buster deck with Quick Arts Arts Buster Buster and an Arts Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Opachiki Okimunbe, which deals significant damage to a single enemy with between a 900 and 1500% damage modifier. It also decreases their defense and crit rate for 3 turns between 20 and 40% depending on overcharge, and decreases the NP charge of dragon type enemies by one. Taking a closer look at her cards, we see that her quick card hits four times, her arts hits twice, her buster hits three times, and her extra attack hits five times. She has an NP gain rate of 0.83% and a star rate of 10.2%. Shitonai has some good NP gain due to her high NP gain rate and arts based deck, but she has low star generating from just one quick card. As is the case with most alter egos, Shitonai has some unusual requirements for ascension and skill leveling, but ultimately they aren't too bad. For ascensions, all she requires are caster and berserker monuments and pieces. She'll need a total of 17 of each, and these are obtainable through daily training ground quests for the respective classes. For her skills, she will likewise require Caster and Berserker skill gems, as well as 5 Lamps, 5 Lanugos, 9 Dragon Scales, and 9 Hearts per skill. Lamps are going to be best farmed at the Jail in Salem, where they have a 20% drop rate. Lanugos can be found at Village 67 in Lost Belt 2, where they have an 18% drop rate. Dragon Scales have a 12% drop rate at Nipper in Babylonia, and Hearts can be farmed at the Carter Residence in Salem with a 12% drop rate. Only a few months after her initial appearance in Lost Belt 2, Shitonai will finally bless our gotcha. She will be our first ever single target arts alter ego, and with the only other 5 star single target alter ego being Melt, she does have a lot to live up to. Thankfully though, Shitonai does boast some really good stats with her high HP, decent attack, and good NP gain, making her a very balanced and versatile servant. Just about the only thing this version of Ilya is lacking is some good star generating and her own route. 
To complement her all-around good stats, Shitunai also has a good mix of powerful skills, both passive and active. Magic Resistance and Core of the Goddess combine to give her a very high natural debuff resist, which can come in handy for some debuff-happy boss fights. While her high-ranking territory creation gives her a nice boost to her already good NP gain and arts damage. These passives synergize very well with her main skill set too, especially her second skill, Emotional Freezing. This skill gives Chitunai a 30% buff to Arts Heart effectiveness for 3 turns and a one-time debuff nullification. On the surface, this skill may look rather underwhelming since the numbers are low, but as I mentioned earlier, when combined with her passives, this skill becomes a beast of a buff. Territory Creation turns the skill into a 40% Arts buff, making it a mini mana burst that lasts for 3 turns, and the debuff nullification combined with her natural 37% debuff resist means that Chitonai has exceptional coverage against all kinds of debuffs. To make things even better, this skill only has a 5 turn cooldown, so it has a high uptime and can be relied on for most of the battle. But that isn't the only offensive skill that Chitonai has to rely on. She also possesses Kamui Yukar, which charges her NP gauge by 30% and also has a high chance of buffing her attack by 20% and granting her 10 crit stars every turn. Both of these chance buffs last for 3 turns and are quite powerful. If Shitanai lands the attack buff, her NP damage will jump considerably despite it only being 20% because it stacks multiplicatively with emotional freezing. Likewise, the star generating buff is good for improving her face card damage outside of her Noble Phantasm since she has a decent star weight and can crit pretty easily when provided with that many free stars. But of of course, the real star of this skill is the 30% NP charge, which does wonders for helping her out with her NP spam. Finally, Shitanai has a defensive skill to rely on in Snow Fairy. This is a one turn invincibility and a team wide damage cut. A simple but nonetheless solid defensive skill. Invincibility is one of the best defensive options that a servant can have, and the damage cut, while not amazing, can help stave off some damage and it works well in stall teams with servants like Mosh or Waver. For skill priority, I recommend going with Kamui Yukar first, just because the NP charge is key for Shitonai, followed by Emotional Freezing for better damage and NP gain, and then Snow Fairy last because it's more situational. Shitonai's Noble Phantasm is a single target arts attack that does a lot. It decreases enemy defense, crit rate, and drains NP charge of dragon enemies. Dragon enemies are pretty common and they are almost always cavalry class, so the drain can come in handy occasionally. There are also a few dragon type servants, but not many and most of them are knights. Drain aside, the other effects of the Noble Phantasm are fantastic. 20% defense down and crit down may not seem like a lot, but keep in mind that Shitonai is an NP spammer so it does add up, and you can easily get the debuffs to 40% or even 60%. This is also a 6 hit Arts Noble Phantasm, so when it's being buffed by Emotional Freezing, it can give a good chunk of NP charge refund, making it even easier for Shitonai to chain her Noble Phantasms on back to back turns. If you couldn't tell by now, NP spamming is how Shitonai makes her money. Much like Archer Artoria, Shitonai is designed to be a boss killer who can use her arts buffs to continuously push out Noble Phantasms nearly every turn. This means that Shitonai is capable of some very high DPS against single enemies, and she can even shred through break bars when she's properly buffed. It also helps that all of her damage buffs have high uptime and that her Noble Phantasm will continuously weaken the enemy the more often that it is used. So unlike most NP spam servants, Shitonai's Noble Phantasm actually gets stronger if it's used in succession. But despite having such strong offensive capabilities, Shitonai also manages to be quite tanky due to her high HP, invincibility, and high resistance to debuffs. She is no glass cannon, and she can easily stick around for long fights even with minimal defensive support. Put simply, Shitonai is one of those rare servants who's not only well-rounded, but excels both offensively and defensively. This doesn't make her perfect, however. She does still suffer from low face card damage as she is built entirely around her NP. If she isn't able to land that chance based attack buff, her damage is notably weaker. Shitonai also suffers from stiff competition both inside and outside of her own class. Melt is the only other 5 star single target alter ego 
and for as good as Shitonai is, Melt is downright broken and can put up even better damage and NP spam in the right teams. Likewise, due to Alter Eagles having a weaker class advantage modifier than normal servants, Shitonai will almost always be out damaged by her stronger Calvary class counterparts. For example, Ozymandias or Ilya or King Hassan will do more damage against the opposite class than she will. Shitonai's advantage is her versatility, not her power. The best way to take advantage of all Shitonai has to offer is to place her in an arts team with allies that can bolster her NP gain either through NP charge, NP gain buffs, or arts card buffs. Servants like Paracelsus, Tamamo, and Nero Bride. Paracelsus is the best free to play support when it comes to setting up NP spam teams and his buffs complement Shitonai very well in quicker fights. Tamamo and Bride are both capable of improving Shitonai's NP gain through buffs while also bolstering her damage considerably as well. Because Shitonai is tanky enough on her own, you can also pair her with other offensive servants who have complementary skill sets, like Kuro, Ozymandias, and Ryoma. Kuro and Ozzy are both able to improve Shitonai's buff success rate, ensuring that she will always land her attack and star generating buffs, and both of them provide very strong DPS of their own for rushing down bosses. Ryoma is an excellent arts semi-support who can significantly bolster Shitonai's damage and NP gain while NP spamming in his own right. Shitonai's Bondcraft Essence is something unforgettable. It buffs the party's arts card effectiveness and NP strength by 10%. Not bad if you're building a hyper-offensive team, but generally speaking, it's better to use craft essences that can maximize Shitonai's own NP damage or her NP gain depending on the fight. If it's a short fight against an enemy without break bars, then use craft essences that can greatly increase Shitonai's NP damage like Heaven's Feel, Black Grail, Royal Icing, or Emerald Float all of which will maximize Shitonai's burst damage. For longer fights against bosses with multiple HP bars, use craft essences that bolster NP gain as well as damage, like Formal Craft, Dive to Blue, Painting Summer, and Magical Girl of Sapphire, as they are all going to help with ensuring NP looping. In the future, I highly recommend Sign of a Smiling Face, which comes out this New Year's. It is one of the best arts craft essences around, as it buffs arts cards, NP gain, and NP damage all of which are perfect for Shitonai. For command codes, go with Armament of Triumph. This command code increases the arts card star absorb rate by 100%. It's great for helping Shitonai get even more consistency on her crits from her arts cards, which leads to easier NP spamming. It also has really strong synergy with her third skill if you're able to proc that star generating buff. Overall, Shitonai is a very strong arts DPS with above average defensive capability. Her high NP gain plus of arts buffs and NP charge make it easy for her to NP loop with very little setup much like Archer Artoria. Her stackable defense down also helps with the team's overall damage, she has incredible resistance to debuffs and high survivability, and as an alter ego she has much more versatility than most other servants when it comes to class advantage. On the downside, this versatility does come at the cost of damage which makes her a little less than optimal in some fights if you have a strong caster, rider, or assassin servant. She also pales in comparison to Melt in most areas and struggles to deal good damage outside of her Noble Phantasm unless she's able to land her chance based buff. With all of that said, Shitonai gets an A from me. Her consistency and powerful Noble Phantasm make her one of the best arch servants in the game, while her self sufficiency makes her easy to support even for newer players and versatile enough to tackle nearly any battle against Calvary class enemies. I do wish that she received either an NP interlude or a buff to her third skill that removed the RNG, but that might make her just a bit OP. And those are my thoughts on Shitonai. She is definitely one of the best offensive arch servants, and yes, she benefits tremendously from Caster Artoria when we get her in two years. I expect nothing less from my girl Ilya, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, do check out my spotlight for the Halloween Welfare Servant, Caster Shuten, linked both on screen and in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over at our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So, Roni out. Later.